All right, today we have a new battery. Let's open it up. We have a user's manual and a friendly reminder. All right, and there's the battery. So this is a 12 volt, 150 amp hour, group 31 size battery from EnjoyBot. Oh, and check it out. It has built-in heating, nice. Okay, so looking at the specs up here at the top of the battery, it is a lithium iron phosphate battery. It has a standard discharge current of 30 amps. It has a maximum continuous discharge current of 150 amps, a standard charge current of 20 amps, and a max charge current of 50 amps. So that's pretty awesome that they've packed in 150 amp hours into the standard size case. So a lot of batteries are going smaller, so you'll get a 100 amp hour battery that's going into that mini form factor. Um, with this battery, what they've done is retain that group 31 size form factor that we're used to, but they've packed more capacity into the battery. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so let's get a weight on this guy. And we have come in at 32 pounds right on the dot. All right, so let's go ahead and charge this guy up and then we'll get right into a capacity test. All right, guys, so I got the EnjoyBot 150 amp hour battery all charged up. I've got it hooked up to my shunt, this inverter, and it, we're gonna use the air conditioner as the load. So let's go ahead and turn the inverter on and that will start the test. We go. Let's see if we can turn this AC on. All right. Compressor is on now. We're pulling over 600 watts at the moment. I think that's going to settle down. Yeah, so we're coming down now. About 440 watts, 430. All right, so I'll just let that continue to run, and I'll be back when the test is completed. All right, so the test is complete, and we got down to 0%, so that means that we did, in fact, discharge the full 150 amp hours very good all right so we got the lid loosened up here so let's just go ahead and pull it off the rest of the way so we can check out the inside there we go all right so we've got double six gauge 200 celsius silicone wire on the negative and the positive so that's very nice terminals are mounted nice and solid then we've got the cells all shrink wrapped in here so let's see if we can get these out Okay, so I couldn't get the whole shrink wrapped cell pack to come out. So I just cut into the shrink wrap in the fiber board. Here's the cells right here. Now I think I can get the cells to slip out of the rest of the shrink wrap. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do right now. There we go. Woo! That was challenging. My goodness. I cut my knuckles up. That's why I hate trying to force myself to get through these things if they're just 
being real difficult because I usually end up kind of hurting myself. All right. But we got it. All right, so there's the top of the cells. We do have prismatics. We have a clear QR code right here. It says BRD BP05 09477 and then DBP right here. So if anybody's familiar with those cells, let us know what they are. So yes, we do have heating pads in between the cells. And here is the BMS. It says DP04S007-S version 1.7. And it has an antenna right here. So this might be a smart BMS. Let's look through the manual and see. So it does, it does say it has a smart BMS. I wonder if it has a Bluetooth app. All right guys, so I did go to EnjoyBot's website and I found a link for a Bluetooth app and I installed it. It does come from the App Store, so it's called uh, BAT-BMS, I think is what the app's called. And it connects, <laughs> and it does work. So we can plug in charging here, and we'll see that the current here will go up. There, so we've got 43 amps going into the battery. We can see our cell level voltages here. So there's all the all four of the cells, and then the voltage, they're all at 3.28. Our temperatures, and then we've got just a bunch of parameters here. We can look at our temperature settings. And we can see our low temperature protection does start at zero Celsius, which is really good. And I did test the low temperature protection. So what it does is whenever it goes into low temperature protection mode, it stops charging the battery and starts diverting that power to the heating pads. And I've already tested it and it does work. So let me, this is the wire that goes to the heating pad. So let's put this clamp meter on it. And we'll see that, um, well, let's zero it out here. All right, and we'll see that we have zero amps going to it. But if I go over here and freeze up the thermal sensor, we now see that we do have power going to the heating pads. We've got like three amps, 3.5 amps now going to the heating pad. When we warm that back up, it should go back down to zero. There we go. Now we don't have any power going to the heating pads. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. It does, in, in fact, work. It should also show there's a protection that comes on here when we freeze it. There we go. So we show charging low temperature on and we see there's no current going to the actual cells of the battery and then again we see that there's three amps going through the the wire to the heaters so very good <laughs> it all works as it should all right guys so i was a little confused as to why they didn't have any marketing information about this having bluetooth on their website and so I went ahead and emailed them because I just wanted to to clarify to make sure that to make sure that I wasn't confusing this battery with the one that they have on their website. This is not actually the same battery that they have on their on their website, the 150 amp hour battery. This is a new upgraded version with Bluetooth. It's not available yet. So it's different battery. So the one that they do have on their website for sale is not the Bluetooth version. This is yet to be released. So they basically sent me a unreleased battery. Um, so what I'll do is whenever they 
release the battery, I'll ask them to let, to let me know and then I'll put a link in the description for the Bluetooth version, for this version right here. All right, so just to recap to make sure you guys know that the one that you can buy from their website is not the Bluetooth version. Uh, if you want the Bluetooth version, you'll have to wait until this one's available. All right, so I think that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as always, let me know what you think about this battery in the comment section, and I'll catch you in the next one.